Universe. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we'll be talking about the newest Conjuring Universe movie, Annabelle Comes Home. Now, I just finished watching this, like, maybe an hour ago, um, and I'm just going to straight out say I hated it. Now, I know that that's horse. Bad to say, but let me give you some reasonings here. So, I love the Conjuring movies. Conjuring 1 and 2, fantastic, amazing. So, my favorite ghostly possession type movies. Um, and uh, Annabelle Creation was fantastic. Maybe my favorite one. The first Annabelle was garbage, and I did not watch The Nun, but I heard so many bad things about it, I didn't even waste my time with it. And this movie <clears throat> kind of, in my opinion, falls in between Annabelle, the, just Annabelle and then Annabelle Creation. It's better than the original Annabelle, but nowhere near close to as good as uh, Annabelle Creation. Now, because the reasoning behind that is it's just jump scares. That's it. And I don't know if I've talked about it before, but that's one of my most hated things in the horror franchise is jump scares. They're stupid. They're cheap. They're lazy. I mean, they literally, it's an easy thing to do to get people to be scared. And yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. You're going to jump at a jump scare because you're not expecting it. And it just comes out of nowhere. But you're not, it doesn't scare you. It just startles you. And that's all this movie was so much. And they kind of tricked you, in my opinion, with the trailer, at least from what I got from the trailer. I thought it was going to be about the Warrens, uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren. I thought, that, and I love those two characters, all those actors. Like I was saying, the Warrens are amazing. I love them. The actors are great, and they're fantastic. They're the main part of this universe. And you don't get them. Maybe 10 minutes of the movie, you see them. It kind of revolves around them, but then it goes to the daughter the babysitter and the babysitter's friend, Daniela. And I can't remember the babysitter's name. What was it? I don't remember. She was a very pointless character, in my opinion. I didn't like either one of those two. Really, the only character in this I enjoyed, besides the Warren, was the daughter, Judy Warren. She was, the actor did great. She was fantastic. Um, but, I mean, that's, that's not good enough for a, a movie, any movie, not just a horror movie. Um, but like I was saying, it was all jump scares. That's all it was. And I was so excited, hoping it was going to be the Warrens versus all these demons and ghosts and everything that they've, you know, protected and stopped and killed. And no, it's just another movie about Annabelle doing her same thing she's done all the other ones. And I don't like that they're milking it so much. Um, I mean, when you first seen the doll, it was terrifying in the original movie. But now that's all it is, Annabelle this, Annabelle that. I'm just like, why? Like, why can't we just get a creepy thing without milking it dry? Because, I mean, it's not enough there anyways to continue it on like this. I mean, as we can see, there's been three movies now, and only one of them were good. I mean, and it's disappointing. Like, scary movies are doing so well right now. I mean, some of them aren't great, but box office-wise, they're doing great, which is a good thing, because that means we'll get more of them, maybe better ones. Um, I will say I did like this one better than Chucky. Because um, like I said, when you did, things did start happening, it, was, it, was, it wasn't bad. Like, closer to like, I mean, the last really 20 minutes of the movie was not bad. It was good. So at that point, all the things are coming out and creeping and all this stuff. Um, but like I said, I just hate jump scares. Because you can always tell when one's coming because either they're playing some creepy music all of a sudden and then someone turns and there's something there or it's completely pitch quiet. There's no noise whatsoever, and you already know that what's about to happen. Um, so yeah, I just, like I said, the actor that played Judy Warren, she's great. I've seen her in a few other movies, so a couple of horror movies, um, and she's good. She did great, and I mean, I feel like all the actors in this movie did great, like for what they were supposed to be. It was just the babysitter and the friend were just plot devices. They were just there to push the plot forward, and that's it. Um, which really stinks. I mean, it sucks when you have characters that have no other purpose but to move the story along. You know, you just can't get invested. You don't like them. You don't care. I mean, the only character I, w I was worried about dying, which I knew wouldn't, because I didn't say this already, but this movie, from what I understand, is set in between Conjuring 1 and 2. Because in the first one, you see Annabelle, and this is supposed to be not long after that one, so right in the middle. And it showed the daughter after that, so you know she didn't die, but that's the only character I cared about. The rest of them, I mean, it wouldn't bother me. 
Um, so yeah, I would not recommend going and seeing this movie in theaters. Um, I probably wouldn't even recommend buying it. Um, I mean, if you are some of the select people that enjoy jump scares, you'll probably like the movie. But if you really, if you're wanting to see a really good horror movie um, or ghost possession movie, whatever, don't waste your money. Just wait till it comes out on DVD and red box it or whatever you guys do with that. Um, so let's get to the rating. Like I said, the the movie looked good. Um, the acting was good, and that's about it. I mean, the dialogue was kind of cheesy. Like I said, nothing but jump scares. I was pissed that I didn't see the Warrens that much. I mean, not many, many good things to say about it. So I'm actually gonna give this movie a four out of ten. It's definitely below average in my opinion. If you want to see a good movie like this, just go watch the first Conjurings or Annabelle Creation. Don't waste your time on this movie. So hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys later.